Hey guys, today we are going to go over some of the core user interface and user experience differences between Windows 7 and Windows 8. Keep in mind that this is the developer's build and Windows 8 boasts something like 400 new features and I'm just going to go over the ones that make this experience different from Windows 7. So the first thing you're going to notice is that the login screen is different. Um, it's a lock screen now and you swipe up to reveal the login window and from here you have different ways of logging in such as a picture, password, a pin, you can log in with your Windows Live account or you can just log in normally with a Windows username. If you choose to log in with your Windows Live account you can sync your preferences and settings across multiple computers and hook up things like SkyDrive and other Windows Live services. So the big difference in Windows 8 is the Metro UI which is pretty much what everyone knows it for. It's the first thing you see when you log in, and it comes with a large number of useful and very slick looking applications. You can quickly switch between applications by mousing over the left and swiping over. This is also the main tablet UI, and it's where you're going to launch everything from. And when I say everything, I do mean everything. So in Windows 8, the Start menu no longer exists. Clicking it will bring you back to Metro, where you basically can immediately type out what you're looking for. It's a big change, but it really makes sense if you think about it. The majority of users use the Start Menu button and immediately type out what they're looking for anyways. Windows 8 simply repackages the search from the Start Menu into a very cool looking package that doubly serves as a touch-friendly UI. The Start Menu also allows you to access a bunch of settings, shut down, and manage devices like projectors and other things you have connected. From the Metro UI, you can access a rudimentary version of the control panel, or if necessary, you can head on over to the full-blown desktop version. From control panel, you can get Windows updates with minimal reboots, which is one of the improvements in Windows 8, completely reformat and restore your Windows 8 PC, and uh, more things like hook up your Windows Live account. So moving on, another big change is that the desktop we're all used to is now an application. Clicking it brings it to the front. And this is basically the windows that we know and love. Um, sans start menu and with some changes in Explorer. Things like window snapping and such are generally the same, but now you can snap tablet applications as well. Windows 8 brings the infamous Microsoft Office ribbon to Explorer, and while ugly, it's actually very efficient at getting things done and can be hidden when not in use. Task Manager looks a bit different too and provides a bit more information while looking a lot more slick. Those are some of the core differences between Windows 8 and Windows 7, but there are of course a ton of other exciting features and under the hood improvements ranging from things like blazing fast startups all the way to rumored integration with Windows Phone 7 phones for SMS and phone calls. So thanks for watching and be sure to rate and subscribe.